Hello, my name is Tiffany Perez, and I'll be representing Group 6 on research, research on mask used by population density. The purpose of the study was to collect data on masks, on proper usage of masks based on zip codes. We wanted to explore the adherence to health and safety standards in accordance with population density of zip codes. The rationale behind the study was to find if the cause of mortalities of COVID-19 from population density were from population density affecting pro-social behavior, which is mask wearing. The hypothesis for the study was that areas with higher population densities would lead to more pro-social behaviors, such as mask wearing. The background literature that the study was based on neighborhood wealth, not urbanicity, predicts pro-sociality towards strangers, which demonstrates that population density does not affect prosociality. The effects of environmental compl complexity and pleasantness on prosocial behavior, a field study, which demonstrate that social density only has an effect on prosociality when measuring gender. Coronavirus disease, 2019 mortality. A multivariate ecological analysis in relation to ethnicity, population density, obesity, deprivation, and population, which demonstrates that COVID-19 mortality was positively correlated to population density. We developed a naturalistic observational study for its high external validity. We picked a random grocery store to collect data for our study. This study was observed with no interactions with anyone, limiting the potential spread of COVID-19 while collecting important information. Data was collected at two different grocery stores to see if mask wearing behavior and the relationship of our population density by sitting in a grocery store parking lot and seeing how many people wear a mask and which type of mask people are wearing. We will also be rating how people wore their masks. Operational definitions. There are six different categories based on masks and the types of face coverings. One, no masks, no mask present. Two, any sort of mask and properly worn by being pulled below the wearer's nose. Three, an improvised covering like a t-shirt, a bandana, or a head wrap. Four, a mask designed to cover the lower part of the face from the wearer's nose to the wearer's chin, like an N95 mask. I have one right here, like this. Five, a face shield, which is a plastic face covering, worn from the forehead down, covering the whole face. Six, a face shield and a mask, as defined above. Population density, people per square mile in a given zip code. The population for area code 7501 is 34,373. That's 200, that's two, I mean, that's 2,187 people per square mile. The population for area code 7503 is 37,166. 
that's 685 people per square mile. The population can be found at unitedstateszipcodes.org. The total number observed was 138 total subjects in this study, 50 in zip code 7501, 75701. That's again, 2,187 people per square mile and 88 in zip code 75703. Again, that's 685 people per square mile. Next, I'll be showing a worksheet that was designed to keep track of subjects as they exited the grocery store in these locations. The score was given for what kind of face covering, if any, was present. Subjects were scored as defined by the operational definition. Subjects were studied in different locations on different days. This location has only one entry and one exit point for shoppers. The subjects were studied before the mask mandate was lifted in February in Texas. To reduce possible exposure, we had one observer per location. The data you see on this Excel spreadsheet was analyzed to find whether or not there was a relationship between population density and face coverings as stated in the hypothesis. By looking at this Excel spreadsheet, we could see that a couple people had no masks. We see a couple ones. We also see some fours, which is proper mask usage, um, nose, covering nose and mouth, like an N95 mask, or it could also be cloth mask. Um, five, I see one five here, which is face shield. And let's move on. Results and conclusion. So for the population density for 75701, popul density is 2,187. The mean for that was 3.14. And then for 7503, we see the population density of 685 with the mean of 2.85. And up here on top, we see this bar graph with the population density per square mile and the mass usage. So this is, of course, based on the population density. Given a p-value of 0 0.25 and an alpha 0 0.05, the null hypothesis that the areas exhibit the same amount of pro-social behaviors cannot be rejected. This means that we cannot provide evidence for the alternate alter alternative hypothesis that more densely populated areas will have more mask usage. <clears throat> this is reflected in the cited literature where these pro-social behaviors are not able to be related to the population density. As the findings are in line with the cited literature, the question is raised to why COVID-19 mortalities are higher in more densely populated areas. Well, it would take another study altogether to even start to find a definite answer, and I guess can be made to as to why. The correlation found by Bray Gibson and White is most likely due to population density allowing for more frequent exposures and higher transmission rates overall, given that the virus has more hosts to transmit to and from. So while the usage of masks remains relatively the same across population density, the mortalities will also increase.
thank you.